Hi everyone, I have just done the tutorial on how to make these little Cherbo helper templates because we all know how much I love the template makes and I'm going to show you how to make the Cherbo, the two-tone Cherbo on the templates for you and then I'm also going to do a freehand version so like I said you can choose which method works best for you but this is a look what you'll get and obviously if you use the different sizes you get your loops bigger or smaller depending on the width you use so obviously this is a three inch ribbon on five inch template um i did the one in one and a half inch ribbon on the three inch template and that's given me slightly longer ear loops on the two inch i did that on the four inch template like i said you've got shorter loops etc and the one inch ribbon i did on the two inch template and like I said, that's given us quite small ears so like i said play around with it and the same with the lengths i can give you some suggestions but it really does depend on how long you like your tails or whether or not you have any like cheerleading regulations that you follow because um, I know some places have like set rules that they have for like the widths and the heights that they're allowed to be in length so like I said you do what works for you but like I said this is a method that you would use okay so this is a lovely leopard print caramelly one and today I'm going to be using two pieces of three inch ribbon and I've cut these both um, 16 inches long and I am going to be using the five inch template. But like I said, I've made six inches all the way down to two and I've done half. So I've done six, five and a half, five, four and a half, four, three and a half, three, two and a half and two. So like I said, you can work out which sizes work best for you depending on how you like your loops to sit. I like mine the slightly shorter, more squared look rather than the slightly longer, like more... I prefer this look to the longer ones but like I said again it's all personal preferences so I've got these two ribbons like I've got this lovely ombre pink with the spot glitter and this nice shocking pink to go with it and what we do is the thing that I like to do on these as well it's really easy to work out which way you want your ribbon to go up so if you do this on the template and then wrap that round if that's the way you want your ribbon to go then you know you've done that but like i said if you wanted it to go the other way again just put it to that corner and flip it over and if you go oh, i don't like it like that way you can just put it back and check and like I said, it's great for like I said, if you've got a print with a pattern, um, like the little mermaid one that I did. These cute little mermaids. Like I said, it was very easy to make sure that these were the right way up from that. So, let me just check my triangle again. Sorry about that. Yeah, so check you've got your ribbon in the right way. And what I do, some people glue, but I personally pin because I don't like to use much glue at all unless it's 100% necessary. So I just pin the corners so that they don't slip. I'll just do one either side like that. And you take your template. And you want this right on the corner of your point. And I want that colour on top, so I'm going to fold this one down first. Again, make sure that that stays on your corner. And the same this side. And then I've got a couple of clips. And I'm just going to put one either side of these. Here. And I'm just going to put one at the top of the loops so they don't slip about on the template. Just for my peace of mind. Okay. So this is a look you will get. And as you can see, we've got the nice colour and it's right way up. And like I said, that's on the top layer. But like I said, you can have the colour on top depending on which you want to show more of. And then I've got my doubled up um, Gutemann's Extra Strength Thread. And I always use an extra long darning needle. Now the main thing about this one is you always start from above 
and I always start as close to that triangle as I possibly can. Now with these, as you can see, our first gap's a bit higher than there to obviously keep this in the cardboard without affecting it. So what I do is I start it in that triangle, this layer, and I go underneath like this. and through the back of the triangle, that layer, to get our point at the beginning of the chair bow. So we start our first stitch right at that, and then you can use the guide, the rest of them, to do your stitches, and I want to do six on this one. Eight for four, four creases. And again, your last stitch wants to be coming through, right through that triangle here. And like I said, the more even that your stitches are, the better off that they'll be. And then what you do is you pull that down like that. And then you can cinch. Move those out of the way. Wrap round a couple of times as you normally would. Like so. Stitch off in the back however you personally prefer. Don't forget to take your pins out. Let's make the one. Oh, I'll get that one out in a second but this is the look you'll get as you can see your ears are even your tails are almost even like I said sometimes you get a little bit extra so what I do is I just line them up and then you can cut them so that they're even okay and then like I said do your tails however you prefer whether or not you want a, a triangle but again if you want to keep your other side even what I do is flip that on that side hold that against the edge and then I use that as a guide for the angle that I need to go through the other side like so so that way you know that they're always going to be fairly even and again as you can see your ears are the same height there we go and i've got my bubble ready and i've got my center for wrapping as well so like i said i'll get that pin out in a minute once i've shown you i won't forget so touch glue on there, don't forget to heat seal our centre, I'm just going to use that excess glue and again if you do make chair bows, um, like I said different states and different competitions have different rules so have a quick check of the regulations because like I said some of them have to have their middles wrapped in certain ways I believe so like I said just have a quick check and work to what what you need to work to like i said i'm sure if you do make chair bows on a regular basis you already know these kind of things but just for your own information there we go 
Let's wrap that round. Cut that excess off. Heat seal that. we go and there we go that is our nice even two-tone chair bow like I said we can play around with our loop sizes you can use all the different width, ribbon widths I will put some suggestions of the lengths of ribbon that I used on the different templates and which different templates are I, I used but like I said it's entirely up to you play around as much as you want make the sizes that you want to work to and like I said the style that you you like and thank you for watching if you need any more help with any of the styles or anything like that I will link my Facebook page and group below and you can ask me any questions and thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will attach the um, tutorial to show you how to make the templates out of the card and I will also attach the, the tutorial on how to make these freehand using a similar technique to this. So thank you for watching, bye!